Uh, quick, quick little uh, editorial on uh, on Sigma. We're a leading supplier of IPTV uh, media processors. We're the leading supplier of uh, home PNA chips. Uh, we're a leading innovator in home plug. Uh, we're the leading supplier of Z-Wave, and we're the first to announce and demonstrate a uh, GDI Gen chip. And uh, I want to share a little bit of the uh, the migration. If you look at the market needs. Uh, from a service provider point of view, you need the performance not only to run the applications today, but the applications you want to run one year from now, three years from now, five years from now. Uh, and you, you don't want technology that, that works incredibly well in the lab and doesn't work at all in the field. Um, what we've discovered doing uh, uh, over 70 service providers around the world is we live in a very heterogeneous place. Uh, there isn't one infrastructure. Even within a single carrier, there isn't one infrastructure. Even within a home, you don't have consistency, uh, for example, over the power line. Uh, every outlet behaves differently than every other. Every home behaves differently. So you need a technology that's robust enough to, to handle that complexity that your service uh, provider technicians have to face every, every time they open that truck door and walk into a house they haven't been to before. <laughs> what we discover, and uh, John mentioned it, and I'm sure uh, Vern will probably mention it in his conversation, uh, if you look at the cost of installation as a portion of the IPTV deployment cost, it is an enormous portion of the cost. And one of the things that we're um, heavily focused on is how do we shrink that cost as much as possible? How do we simplify the installation uh, either for the technician or hopefully without the, the need for a technician and for a self-install. And to do it with the flexibility that you can handle diverse circumstances. Uh, in some cases you might need to use phone wiring. In some cases you might need to, uh, to bridge from the outside of the house to the inside of the house. So you may not have power, you may have um, impediments that don't allow wireless or other technologies. You need flexibility in your and your solutions. And for most service providers, since home PNA is the most popular IPTV technology in the world, you need a path from home PNA, which is an ITU standard, to GDI Gen, which is the next generation ITU standard. Now, our philosophy is that if you have a device that's plugged into the wall, you should use wired networking. And you should keep your wireless bandwidth for devices that are not plugged in the wall. Um, it's not that there isn't benefit to wireless, but that you have to understand that the demand for wireless is soaring. And if you consume all of the bandwidth for um, wired devices with wireless bandwidth, you will not have the available wireless spectrum to meet the demand of all of the devices in the house. You look at a house like mine, I've got teenage uh, kids, and we've got like eight devices or nine devices that are going at, at the same time, and there are only four of us. Um, because people are using their phones at the same time they're using their notebooks and their iPads and their triple screening and all of this. Um, this is a trend, and so we have to understand that, that we need to kind of backhaul our, um, our services as much as possible. So wired is the way to go because it delivers stability it delivers a capacity that, that meets the needs of where we're headed. Um, it is very proven in the field, we've learned with home PNA, that when you put it in the field, it stays in the field. Um, we believe that GDIHM will also do that actually um, more superiorly than, than home PNA. There's a lot that we learned, that we fixed. Um, GDIHM was a consortium of 35 or 40 vendors, all competitors all with their own know-how, all brought that know-how into the GDIHN standard. So we've learned a lot as an industry, and I think that wired allows you to keep the wireless bandwidth available for wireless devices. You've heard a little bit about um, of what's to come. I think the, uh, the best one was uh, unlimited number of televisions. Um, unlimited number of televisions requires unlimited amount of bandwidth um, for, for that math to work, I think. Um, now, I, I'm not sure it'll be unlimited, but I think that we are going to be in an environment where we have 
three or four, you imagine how your teenagers text today, imagine three or four people doing video chat simultaneously at the same time you're doing your DVR, at the same time you're recording two programs, at the same time you're trying to do internet gaming, at the same time on and on and on and on. You need the headroom to do these things because as service providers, if you're not doing them reliably, even if the, the applications are consuming ridiculous amounts of bandwidth, the customer expectations are going to be there for you to meet those needs. And you need a, um, an infrastructure that supports that. So what you look at is the market needs are not static. If you think about the rate of bandwidth improvement over the last 20 years, it has accelerated at a rate faster than Moore's Law. And yet, I don't know of anyone who says we have too much bandwidth. As customers, we need you to stop growing the amount of bandwidth because we have too much bandwidth. And uh, I, I never heard that in my professional career. I doubt I will ever hear it in my professional career. Uh, they used to say what, what grove giveth, gate taketh away, but I don't know what the analogy is in, uh, in the consumption of, of bandwidth, but whatever you guys build in the way of bandwidth, the industry will consume that bandwidth. The need is not static. If you look at home PA today, uh, we exceed the basic needs uh, that are in the market for in home distribution. Um, John hasn't complained that he doesn't have enough capacity to run at his services. Um, and if you look at Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi can get you into places that where coax doesn't exist, and Wi-Fi's performance is improving, but it's only catching up to the needs of today. But the needs of today will not be the needs a year from now, or three years from now, or five years from now. So we need a technology that is going to deliver the amount of capacity that will allow you guys to build infrastructure that will last five to ten years. If you look at G.HN, um, on a fine basis, an apples to apples uh, direct comparison, what you find is GIHN um, is got the greatest capacity of any of the technologies that are being discussed in the market today. Uh, whether it's uh, Mocha 2 or P1901 or, or what have you. It's a one gig capability uh, over, over coax you'll probably see about 700 megabits of throughput and over power line you'll see uh, on the high end, about 450 meg of throughput. If you look at G.HN, it delivers a tremendous amount of performance. Um, and it creates a mesh network across all three wire types. This provides tremendous flexibility to guys like John and others who want to be able to have customers move devices inside the home, want to do it in a standardized way. Uh, right now, there are five vendors doing interop testing of G.HN right now. This is more vendors that have done interrupt testing for home PNA, more that have done interrupt testing for um, home plug, more that have done interrupt testing for Mocha. Uh, there are more people doing GDI Gen chips actively right now than any other technology. And so we're working really hard as a group to create a, uh, a robust interoperability between these chipsets. This will allow there to be a lot of vendors in the market, a lot of price competitive uh, situations, a lot of choice for you a lot of price declines as, as comp competition accelerates. Um, you're going to see a lot of robustness in this technology. Um, because Powerline is a challenging environment technically, a lot was put into the base functionality of G.HN that even though on the coax we've added technology that would have normally been only in Powerline and brought some extra robustness into into the GDIHN technology, and it will give you the widest outlet support in one single mesh network. Um, the one little plug for, for, uh, for Sigma, um, we were the first to announce a GDIHN chipset. We were the first to demonstrate it. We were the first to do it publicly. Um, our chip has full backward compatibility to home PNA. So every service provider that uh, that is deploying home PNA has a safe and smooth migration to G.HN. Uh, we also supply in that chip backward compatibility to home plug AV. So anyone who wants to migrate from home plug AV to G.HN has a smooth migration. Uh, and we have a patented technology called ClearPath. In this chip, it's actually ClearPath Extreme, which uses the ground wire as well as the phase and neutral to deliver about a 50% improvement uh, over other G.HN products in the market today. Um, we're going to open the, the panel up uh, for discussions, but be, 
feel free to ask any of us any, any questions on how we migrate from one to the other. Thank you.